edition of Technical Files the Sports Podcast. You never knew you needed. It's your boy T I M K I N Z V number three, aka Ass Catchem, aka Mister Give It To Me. He's going about some basketball today. I am the Air J. Only known as the Air J. And I'm Camille, point guard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. And it's your boy K. Harris, the gentleman. The gentleman. The everyday gentleman. 24 7. But better known as K. Diddy. Take that, take that. Jabroni. Yeah, y'all didn't expect to hear from us today, but. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> we here! <laughs> the NBA season is starting on Tuesday, so we had to come together and uh, preview the season before it officially got underway. So. The way we're going to do this is first we're going to just go through some of the questions from the annual GM survey uh, that just came out. Uh, we answered them for ourselves because who cares about what the GMs think? Y'all care about what we think. And uh, then we'll go into a game of who he played for with Eric asking Tim and Ken if they can keep up with some offseason transitions. And then we'll end with our uh, playoff predictions, our all-star team predictions. Playoffs? <laughs> and year-end award predictions. So... Because the NBA is Eric's favorite thing in the world, I'm, I'm passing him the ball. I'm playing off ball today. All right. So like Mill said, we are answering the questions from the annual NBA GM survey that is conducted by NBA.com. Um, so we'll start off with the player that you would most want to start your franchise with today. Everybody got Giannis, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's about, yeah. Round the board. Okay. Um. I'm pretty sure the GM list. Anybody got the GM list handy? I can Mm-mm. pull it up. But they had Giannis. <clears throat> they as had well. Giannis and Giannis and Walk. Like I think yes. it was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, know where, I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, I think he was like 80, percent and then Anthony Davis and Luca were seven percent each. Sounds about right. I mean, I wouldn't start a franchise with Luca over Giannis, but sure. I mean, I looked at it. At a, I mean, a couple second, different things yeah. like. A lot of people will say, like, if you look at about today, you can kind of account for age. You got to account for health. Things like that. So, mm-hmm. like, across the board, two-way, health-wise, like, durability and marketability, you got to kind of roll with Giannis. Giannis had 86% of the vote by the uh, uh, GMs. Anthony Davis and Luke were both tied with 7%. Last year, Giannis led the way with 30%. So, that's quite a growth from 30 to 86. Yeah. I think before that, Carl Anthony Towns had won it, like, two years in a row. And he's nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be seen now. Mm, well, Life hey. comes at you fast. Um, so which player, fo- which player forces opposing coaches to make the most adjustments? Steph. You think it's still Steph? I do. Mm. I think it's James Harden. You watched Utah play well, a completely out of pocket defense to try to contain James Harden. They completely changed their entire defense. Mm-hmm. It it didn't work, but I feel you. Harden is like damn near unstoppable on offense, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but Curry's range. Affects the way a team, I mean, just positionally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and I think that that's a good, that's a good way to frame it. Like, I think Harden, like you just account for him individually, whereas <laughs> Steph changes like the entire team. Like you have to, it changes the way that offense is played. Like you have to, like it just junks up so much. You're stretching like the a, defense so much that you have exactly. too many holes now. Like Steph is a system <laughs> onto itself, whereas like Harden is just singular brilliance. Like, you got to bring one dude out to half court every rip, bro. <laughs> every yeah, rip. Yeah, it's not like saying the same thing I just said about James Harden with defense is trying to play him to his left all mm-hmm. last year after they saw Eric Bledsoe mm-hmm. have some I, semi-success. <clears throat> I feel like we're getting to the point where people are just going to be like, let Harden get shit his off. and then just shut everybody else down. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's, he can score as many points as he wants. Like, he's not going to score 112. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. fair. Who'd you have, Ken? LeBron James. Really? I still think LeBron still. LeBron was my how? original. Wait, how how is still how is it still LeBron? Still, a healthy LeBron is still one of the most unstoppable forces in the NBA. Like, especially when he's hot, like LeBron can basically score from anywhere. I picked yeah. LeBron first. Mm-hmm. And kind of to piggyback off of you what you were saying is that because he can score on all three levels, mm-hmm. you have to account for I guess the James effect. But and then it comes back to Eric's point of Teams were like, okay, LeBron's going to be LeBron. Mm-hmm. LeBron's just going to get his shit off. Who can we stop next yeah. to devalue what the fuck he's doing? Because he's going to get his shit off regardless. He'll get his 27, 8, and 8. Mm-hmm. Night in, night out. You can't stop that shit from happening. Yeah. Who can we stop outside of him mm-hmm. 
So that's why I kind of took him off, though, because I'm like, now we're at the point where old man James is still going to get his shit off, but it's not a, let's just change everything around him. Okay. Yeah. What the uh, GM say? They had uh, James Harden at the top, <laughs> and uh, second place was actually tied between Steph and LeBron. Oh, they really? Those two had 17%, and James Harden had 48%. Giannis had 14%, and Kevin Durant came in at fifth with 3%. Okay. Last year, it was LeBron, 60%. Mm-hmm. Um... For the record, I did say Curry. Also, um, which player is most likely to have a breakout <clears throat> season in 2019-20? I have a great one. Siakam. Looking at Pascal, they gave him the money. Wasn't last year his breakout year? That's what I was I know, think he's going to take say. another jump. <laughs> how, how, how high can he go? <laughs> I mean, he's the face now. Damn near. I don't, know, that don't he think he can go that high, bro. And he wasn't an all-star last year. I yeah. think that he... I think he could jump in the 20s because he only averaged, bit. what, 17 last year? Yeah. Still, that's what? That's like two more buckets. The game. <laughs> that ain't nothing, really. Was your that's not a that's, breakout. So you saying it's easy to jump from seventeen to twenty points a game for anybody? In his situation, and I would think it is exactly. That's too much. I'm buckets. thinking twenty four. I'm thinking he go average around like twenty four, seven, and like six. That's still damn near the same. That's still it's a, not. That's, that's still he, another the breakout season. Changed, but anyway, no, it's still another like, breakout <laughs> season I'll, for him. Like in Tim's defense, like I think the jump from solid role player to primary option all star is a big jump. Like it's a bigger jump from like regular starter to good starter. You know what I mean? Like, as okay. the higher you go, like, incrementally, it gets more challenging to make jumps. So, because we was talking about Giannis getting most improved on top of an MVP just last season. Because he said it. We didn't really think it was possible. Right. But it's something that came up because it, he could be a most improved player or the MVP. He could have been. I said Zach Levine. I think Zach I like Levine is going to have a great year in Chicago. I like that one. Yeah. And I think he's going to make his first All Star team. I, that's what I was just going to say. He definitely All Star this year. You think I, so? Yeah. Chicago, like I still, I still. <laughs> he put numbers up last year. He which it's Chicago. Somebody, <laughs> it's team. somebody Someone has to do it, right? So like, I feel like it's more of a bad stats, good. I mean, good stats on a bad team type of deal. But I mean, I don't really know how you quantify like. I mean, jump, to be so. fair to Zach, he was doing pretty well before he got hurt on Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So it's not like he can't put up the numbers. We saw him do it last year. Like he put up. <laughs> Twenty three, I think. Yeah, he was put up. He put up at least twenty three games. But I think that from what I briefly saw in the preseason, I think that he looks like he has been working really hard on his game, knowing he is now like the guy in Chicago <clears throat> for sure, for sure. Like, <clears throat> so what, in the in what, the top one hundred, like my blurb about him was essentially like he showed that he can like put up numbers, but like now it's about like he has the talent, but now it's about like filling out his game with like playmaking and defense, mm-hmm. especially, mm-hmm. Yeah. but like. He has to show that he isn't like he can do more than just like score, score. inefficiently. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, who did you have, Zach? No, I had Brandon Ingram. That's a good one. Never giving up. <laughs> he can, I mean, he can do. He he's shown that he can get better every year, and he's he's been in the weight room. He's starting to grow into his body a little bit more. He's Thank been God. in the league a little bit longer. Like I feel like him, and then plus him getting traded, like he was already balling, like when he was there. So now he for have the green light to just basically just do him. I re- like I. I mean, who else? I mean, gonna be you guys Drew. Drew, <laughs> right, like, Drew, 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 Drew is going to be the main guy, yeah. but who's behind? Who's behind Drew in the offense? I mean, Zion put yeah. up twenty four in the pre- preseason. Yeah, twenty four a game in the preseason, mm-hmm. and that just opened up even more because they're going to yeah. be focused on Zion. And they did pick up Derek Favors too. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty low on. The I mean, but fa- Favors is still a good offensive weapon for them. No, like, no, no, I get, mm-hmm. I get it. I'm just saying, like, you jumped to the Favors after, like, you skipped, like, four or five people. But, um, I went with Marvin Bagley. Okay. Um, like, he is a dynamite scorer, and, like, between him and Fox, and then, like, Hill and all those other guys, like, flanking them, like, I can see a big jump. And, I mean, part of it is just natural progression, because, like, he kind of put it together... He's already really good, though. Mm-hmm. I know, but it, I mean, like he's—he was a rookie, and like going into his second year. Like I, I, I think I don't think he'll make a run at All Star because the West is just too stacked. But oh my God, sorry. like, I can't see him being like a legitimate go-to scorer. I hear you. You have me. Who the? Ah, uh, I keep forgetting. Putting your that phone. Away. I am. Breakout season, De'Aaron Fox had 19% of the vote. <coughs> Jaron Jackson Jr. and Jason Tatum both tied with 11%. And then Brandon Ingram and Jamal Murray had 7%. Okay. And much like Siakam, like I feel like Fox kind of had his breakout last year. I do think that he'll Same. jump another level too. But uh, Who is the absolute number one 
best point guard in the NBA. That is Mr. Uh, Wardell, Stephen Curry. The second. I agree. Yeah, Steph Curry. I Run think- it. Yeah. <laughs> GM said the same thing, 90%. <coughs> Dame had 7%, and LeBron had 3%. Hmm. They consider him a point guard? I mean, he's, he's going to be closing the game as a point guard. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Hmm. It's going to be great. Uh, best shooting guard. <laughs> I don't think anybody else is going to say anybody, anybody but other James. Than James Harden. <laughs> yeah. yeah. James Harden? Yep. GM said the like, same thing. It's hard for me to come up with a second person with Clay out. 86% hmm. said James Harden. Paul George has 7% of the vote. And Jimmy Butler and Clay Thompson also receive votes. Yeah, I guess he is a two on, on the Clippers. Um, Best small forward. The Claw. Yeah. Ooh, this was a tough one. For me, at least. Who you have? I got LeBron. <clears throat> I still got King LeBron James. James. I can't be mad at the answer it, of LeBron I was just going to say, you can't be mad at like, it. No, because, I mean, it's, Le- cause it's, it's LeBron. It's still LeBron. Yeah. Like, Indeed. It's he LeBron. has not proven it otherwise. I want to repeat yeah. once again, because sometimes people hate LeBron so much. I hope, I really <clears> hope <throat> that y'all have been appreciating watching this man play basketball. Like, you have literally been able to watch the career of one of the greatest players to ever touch a basketball with LeBron James. Facts. Like, inarguably top three. Yeah, like... Yeah. Like, if you say anything beyond three, like, you smoke You're trolling. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Like, easily. Like, like I hope you still saying Kobe better, you bullshit. And not even the uh, who better thing, but, like, I said the same thing with Kobe. Like, when we're getting towards the end, like, <laughs> I, I really Kobe. hope that you're appreciating watching Kobe play basketball. Because when Kobe's gone, like... Yeah. It's so and, gone. And like, appreciate magic. when they're actually still good. Because yeah. like those last couple of years, like they still look like themselves, but, but they, they weren't. Ain't no more. So like, I mean? like even the players y'all hard. hate now, like whoever that might be, Bucks fans might be James Harden. Appreciate watching him play basketball because he's playing basketball in a way that is very unique and it's very impressive. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I also had Kawhi. Ken. Yeah, Kawhi. Yeah. Uh, GMs. They had Kawhi Leonard as well. Kawhi. LeBron was number two. LeBron. Kawhi had 62% of the vote, and LeBron had 24. Okay. Anybody else get a vote? Giannis, 14%. If you're still calling Giannis a small forward, you Look, just don't watch the book. You don't watch. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what come in three? Um, best power forward? Giannis. Giannis. Segway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're joking. Giannis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, run it. Yeah, GMs had Giannis with 59% of the vote, AD with 28, LeBron with 10, LaMarcus Aldridge with 3%. Oh, hmm. Last year, that was AD thirty seven percent of the vote. I feel like last year, AD was both number one center and power forward. Yes, that is true. Do they still consider? Which means he fucked himself because like he is so insistent on being a power I mean, forward. A power forward. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think he cares about the GM sorry, but still. Um, segue. Who is the best center in the NBA? <laughs> they consider AD, but I'll go Joel Embiid. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say Jokic. That's your boy. That's why it was it. real close. I put it on my little thing. I said Jokic real close. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on my little thing. Yeah, yeah, baby, phone. You better be glad Duce ain't here because that'll be a trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I went with MB. When MB's healthy, I, and I know that's a big it, yeah. Because, but he, I can't stop him. Like he. But is when you have good. to say when he's healthy, right. though, yes, that, that's, that's problem. That's yeah, why I can't put Jokic there. there but no, but when he's healthy, <clears throat> the dude is cold, know, bro. But it's when it's healthy, Jokic's there. Who you, who you got? Jokic? Yeah. Jokic is there. I, I, I fuck with Jokic. Part of it is like I was beholden to my list that I just put out a week ago, so I couldn't really go <laughs> against it. Um, and I had Jokic one spot higher, higher than yeah. MB. Um, but like it's neck and neck. And yeah. Man, the injury close. concern is it's the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Um, because like obviously they don't play the same, but MB's defense MB's they have scary, more similar, yeah. they have similar impact. So yeah. I went Jokic. Although I will say I think His MB is more talented. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, Jokic is. pass and put him up there. He his pass and put I him up. I wouldn't be surprised there. if he averages eight assists. I was gonna say seven. He was like seven point. Was I think he seven averaged like seven last year. Oh, like seven point three. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's, crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like his, pa- his passing mm-hmm. is what sets him apart. Yeah, Embiid averaged like three or four assists a game. Like from the center spot, he generates that offense. You said Embiid. Why are you taking up for Jokic? <laughs> I said it was real close, but Tim argue, Embiid. Because Tim argued against himself I said Embiid's all defense sets it. Like his, his, oh, the the GM said Jokic with 48% of the vote, okay. Embiid with 28, and AD with 17. Giannis also received a vote, as well as Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. That Denver <laughs> team, man. That Denver team. Uh, which team had the best overall moves this offseason? I, like, I think I know. I think universally we probably have the same team. Who? I might have went off Who? the beaten path. Okay. Then, uh, go ahead. I got the Pelicans. 
Who you got? I got the Pelicans. Who you got? I got the Clippers. I got the Clippers. Yeah. Interesting. Like I wanted to go Pelicans just because like, this too. year. Like, like yeah. but like when you bring in two top ten players, was, like yeah, that's huge. True. And I know that's much like be LeBron more, last year. I like, think that'd be more popular. Like Clippers was what came to mind first, but when I thought about the Pelicans, what he did, man. <clears throat> your superstar wants out, and you're put your backs against the wall to make a good decision with no leverage. So the moves that they were able to make with their superstar forcing their way out and they got some luck through the draft being able to draft Zion but and being able to trade with the Lakers because they jumped up exactly like so much like, of this was predicated on luck but it, it, it all worked out into their and favor and it made it more impressive because it was like we didn't expect the Pelicans to come into this season as playoff contenders no and I mean that in like eight seed type of chase but like that we wouldn't have thought so that's why I gave them the edge over the two superstars like that was clearly like now uh, and a huge move, the future yeah. <laughs> yeah. like they're set up though it's a nice team over there yeah um who did the gm say that would be a pass team if i had it what the pelicans mm-hmm. yeah like pelicans and hawks like those are like i usually try to see teams as they're up and coming like pelicans kind of jumped pelicans kind of jumped a level <laughs> so like you can't yeah. even be like the oh this is a hipster like this is gonna be a cheap ticket no nah. but uh, my, Clippers my, had eighty two percent of the vote, and Pelicans had eleven. Uh, oh, the Nets oh. and the Jazz also received votes. Okay, interesting. My other team would be the uh, Magic. I feel like they may be a uh, upcoming underrated team. They're not making all Um I, <laughs> I think they might. I mean, I just don't see them like as because like I jumped on Oklahoma City like the year before they won fifty games because I'm like these are like top prospects. Like they mm-hmm. they're gonna grow into it. So it's just like you're catching them before. They kind of blow up. Um, which team would be the most improved? Wait, nope, I skipped one. Um, what was the most underrated player acquisition? <clears throat> I said Kyle Corver. Okay, for uh, the Bucks. I get it because in spurts he's going to be really good. Dude, he's going to be a game changer. Yeah, I don't um, think he'll play enough to be a game changer. He's going to have limited minutes, and you're going to get spurts every so often. We'll but, get him when we need him. But I don't know if I'll say that's the most. Plus, he won't hold up in the playoffs. So. Yeah, he's he's really slow and old. That's why I he think shoot, he's though. underrated. Yeah. But he can shoot, shoot. He can <laughs> shoot the fucking shoot. lights out. <laughs> and with Giannis, it, yeah. Like, if we were getting Corver like four years ago, it would like, have been, no <laughs> been a problem. It would have been a problem. He was quick off the pitch. Who'd you have, Cam? Hey, Christian Wood made the Pistons. Good shot. Um, that Brennan Joe Ingram. Johnson getting cut, I think. You got who? Uh, Brennan Ingram. From things I said, I, I, I think this is his breakout year. Okay. You, you already banged the wagon. Okay. Exactly. We, we, okay. Um, I went with Jeremy Grant. Okay. Like, I feel like he is the perfect fit next to Jokic, like, as a power forward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, he's basically, like, a young Paul Millsap. Mm-hmm. And they have the old Paul Millsap. So, like, <laughs> he's just, like, you know what I mean? Like, just, just trying to it. learn. Yeah. Yeah, like, I feel like that was a good bit of uh, team building. And I think that he'll kind of unlock things for them. Mm-hmm. I went with Thaddeus here on going to Chicago. Okay. I like the the semi-old vet. Like, he's, like, 30, 31 now. But, like. Damn it, he was on my list of people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh-huh. forget about it. Yeah, I, I like that young. I think he's going to be a. Uh, a nice piece in Chicago this year. What the fuck? All right, which team will be the most improved in 2019-2020? The hmm. Lakers. The Lakers. Pelicans. What was their record last year? Trash. It wasn't that bad. I think bad. they had like 30-something. Yeah, wins. it wasn't that bad. I don't know how big of a jump they'll make while the Lakers... will go from like 34 wins to... 50. Like 50 plus. Yeah. yeah. Like that's a that's a pretty big jump. Damn, in the way you're going to have to win 55 plus. <laughs> that's crazy, dog. <laughs> Shit. Although, like, because, like, they all gonna be beating up on each other, like, that might bring yeah. the number. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just gonna be a big-ass group of people with it between, like, 45 and 55 wins. Yeah. Yeah, the Lakers were 37 and 45 last year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what did the... Oh, I said Lakers. Anybody have anything different? And what did the GM say? I was looking up the Lakers record and lost my spot in the GM, sir. Yeah, I was looking at the Pelicans chance. record. Did you find it? Last year they were thirty three and forty nine. Yeah, I don't think they'll make too much of a Not bigger jump much. than that. Yeah. What was the question again? Uh, most improved team. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, Lakers got thirty eight percent of the vote. The Mavericks got twenty one percent of the vote, which is I think a good pick. Clippers <clears> got ten. <throat> Hawks, Nets, Bulls, Pelicans all tied up with seven percent, and the Knicks got four percent. That. The Knicks, four <laughs> percent though. I mean, that means one person voted for him. Which somebody believes probably from New York. Uh, you can't vote for, your own, you can vote for your own team. 
So somebody smoking. Most was in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bad? No. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, what was the most surprising move of the offseason? I said Paul George to the Clippers because I didn't know yeah. he was even on the table. Like, I didn't know that was at a, all. That wasn't something that we thought. And, like, compounded with the fact that, like, it got announced Kawhi's going to the Clippers, and then two seconds later, and Paul, and Paul George, George got <laughs> traded. Like, and like, what the and then, fuck? like, when you saw what all he got traded for, it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and the fact that it was the same night as a fucking earthquake, like, that whole night yeah. it was just like. And I had fallen asleep before the earthquake because I was trying to watch the Zion game. And, and I was watching the game when it, oh man, that shit was wild. Yeah. And so then I woke up shortly after the game, it concluded. And then like all my phone was just like going nuts. I'm like, what? <laughs> so like I was disoriented, like trying to process everything. It was an earthquake. Ken has been looking like distraught this whole time. <laughs> no, been fuck man, fuck Paul George. That's why I put him on here. Chris Paul and Westbrook. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, and that was also exactly. that was surprising. I didn't see that coming. I mean, once Paul George got traded, though, everybody was kind of like, Russ got to go. To where? But I didn't expect to, like, yeah, I wasn't dang there. Yeah. I think Horford to Philly was also surprising because, like, everybody mm-hmm. was like, there's some mystery team that offered him a big contract yeah, and true. nobody had Philly mm-hmm. as that team. So Paul George to the Clippers had 52% of the vote, CP3 to, and uh, Westbrook had 28 Nikola Meritich to FC Barcelona has 7% of the vote. That was it. Which cost us fucking Brogdon. Yep. Thanks a lot. Mm. Fuck, fuck me, go. Um, team Porters. Uh, <laughs> which rookie will be the best player from the draft class in five years? Ja. ja. I said it, but I had to go. Uh, he, was, he was first, but I said Zion. Mm. I mean, he looked Zion. good in the preseason. But he's, I think he has durability issues. Don't, don't overthink it. It's Zion. Yeah. I think he got durability Cam, issues. Hey, Cam Reddish, too. I think that's my I dirt. think it's going to be a lot of good yeah, players really good in this draft. draft. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think Zion is, like, generational. Yeah. Um, What did GM say? They had Zion with 68% of the vote. Ja at 29. Yeah. Darius Garland had 4% of the vote. Hmm. Oh, I was... I had a point about Cam. Like, I think he went to the best place. Cam Reddish. Yeah, like, I said that, too. That is a great fit. Like, so if he would have got drafted to, like, Cleveland, being, being expected to be their savior, like, I think mm-hmm. he would have been a bust. But the fact that he goes to Atlanta with Trey, with John Collins, with yeah. DeAndre Hunter, like, they have pieces around mm-hmm. like he can just fit into and be his best self. So if he mm-hmm. if he fails, it's not from lack of infrastructure, which is sometimes the case with people like Josh Jackson. And uh, My bad. I read the wrong uh, answers. <laughs> They actually had, it was still Zion job one and two, 68%, 18%, but Cam Reddish had 7% oh, okay, there we of go. the vote there for best player in five Cam. Yeah, I like the one. Oh, when Cam. It, when I he like got Cam it, Rose. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Uh, who is the best international player in the NBA? Giannis. Giannis. Yeah, Giannis. Yeah, it could be. No. Don't be ahead of your own <laughs> life. <laughs> the GM was, was Anthony Davis born in Canada? <laughs> exactly. He was Canada, boy. The GMs agreed. Uh, Giannis has 79% of the vote. Yeah. Jokic, Jokic had 14, and Luka had 7. Do you know they got to throw Luka ass in there? That's a Who reach. Who thinks you, Luka is better than... I don't know. That's Somebody. a reach. They got to throw him in there. You take Ben Simmons or Luka? Me? Luka. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take Luka. Luka get buckets. Like, he's effortless. His, Although his, I do wonder if, like, you traded places, like, if Ben Simmons was just on a team by himself... That they yeah. actually built around him and not mm-hmm. trying to slot him next to somebody that fits poorly with him. Like mm-hmm. I think he would look a lot better though. Also, mm-hmm. Luca would get off playing uh, with Embiid. Yeah. But I, mean, I think it's more just like fit stuff. With it, that's Simmons. What, that and was Philly. a good point. So yeah, mm-hmm. like if you swap, if you swap places, Luca would be ridiculous. It'd be think, advantageous for both. I think Luca is <laughs> gonna have a, a great year too. By the way, uh, who is the best defender in the NBA? Uh, Kawhi. I put Giannis, but I got Kawhi. Mm-hmm. Paul George is close. So you went Paul? You went Paul no, first? I went with Giannis. Oh. But I, I think really I think Giannis's Paul. defense is underrated at this point. Still, like I don't Even think as a runner up, yeah, to defensive player of year. Like. like I think people aren't talking about it enough. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Kawhi had forty five percent of the vote. Rudy Gobert had twenty eight percent. Draymond had ten percent. Giannis had seven percent, which was tied with Paul George and Anthony Davis had three percent. Hmm. Uh, who's the most versatile defender? Giannis. I got Draymond. Mm. Yeah, I'm Draymond. about to say. I got Paul George, but Draymond's right there. I feel I like Paul like, George can do a three, can guard three levels too. Uh, I don't think he's a rim protector like that though. He was gonna get dunked on. You think like, so? Like he's 6'10", but like he's not, he's not like a shot blocker like that. Like he can kind of do some chase down stuff, but as far as like point of attack, like he can't guard five. But I feel like he's good at 
he's good enough in a at changing the like yeah like uh, getting him to change directions on the shots and but, shit like but that. But I don't think like, he could consistently do it as well as somebody like Draymond or Giannis. Right. That's fair. I you know I can see or Kawhi even because Kawhi is yeah. strong, strong, he's yeah, strong as well. Yeah, breaking. I give, I give the Draymond people yeah. chest. No, I can see. I got you. <laughs> Who did the GM say? They had Draymond at thirty eight percent, Kawhi at thirty one, and Giannis at twenty one percent. Okay, can't be mad with any of those. Best defensive team. The Clippers. Yeah, the Clippers. Yeah. Clip, clip. I was looking in Utah. Utah got a really good defensive team, too. Mm-hmm. I went with Philadelphia. Okay. That's fair. They are humongous. <laughs> and they have five across the board lockdown defenders in their Like, that's all they got. But, mm, yeah. and Thibault, like, their rookie. He's locking people. He looks fucking crazy. <laughs> like, his and blocks space. and steals numbers, seriously, like, two plus in both categories. Mm. In preseason, and like he, but he did it in college. Like, there's a large sample size of him just like mm-hmm. fucking shit up. And he was like in a zone in college, so he wasn't even like man to man. Like he was in the zone. Like he, he, he's. I can't even compare him to anything. Like if he, he can stick in their rotation, like that's a game changer for them. Hmm. Interesting. Great instincts. Hmm. Like I, gotta see him. I haven't seen him. I haven't and seen him. And if he gets beat, he has to, he's quick enough to yeah. like cover it up and long as fuck. Pause. Hmm. Just, I gotta see his. I gotta check out his highlights. Yeah, look look that up. Um, which new in, head coach? So that means either first time head coach or somebody that was hired this summer will make the biggest impact on his new team. Monty. Yeah, Monty. Yep. <clears throat> I went with Frank Vogel slash Jason Kidd. Oh, oh, you can't go saying. Frank Vogel slash Kidd. Is, is Vogel gonna do something or is it gonna be Kidd? That's my point. I love that he almost put Jason Kidd down, but I was I'm not gonna be there. It's person. impact. It doesn't mean positive like. That will kind of swing like what goes on in L.A. Like oh, no. if their coaching is poor, <laughs> if their coaching is poor, like that can really make that uh, situation deteriorate really quickly. So yeah, GMs had uh, Monty at forty three percent, Frank Vogel at twenty one, Luke Walton, Monte. Luke Walton at eighteen percent. I thought about Luke. John Beline, Beline, Beline. Beline. <laughs> John Beline, and John Beline. Beline. 11% and Taylor Jenkins so and Mr. 7%. Mr. Jenkins. Uh, which active NBA player will be the best head coach someday? I said Vince Carter. Me too, Vince Carter. I still said Jared Dudley. Because I said that last year, I didn't do it this year. Uh, George Hill. Mm, that's a good one. Interesting. That's a good one. Uh, the GMs had Mike Conley at 26%, Chris Paul at 19%, Malcolm Brogdon at 15 and Rondo at 11%. Hmm. Hmm. That Brogdon pick was just because he's smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which team has the best home court advantage? I said Denver. Oh, because of the Mile High Stadium shit. Yep. And now their fans are like raucous because they're mm-hmm. good. I said Toronto. Toronto still got an advantage. You got to go across the border and shit like that. Like it's a long ass flight for anybody. No, for the most part, Detroit. <laughs> or if you're in Milwaukee. Most of the league ain't here. <laughs> like most of the I, league is I further mean, out. They're Portland is the most like remote de- destination. Not Toronto. The Florida Toronto's teams. not even the furthest north. Right. Because, you know. Portland is the furthest north. Anyway. Um, Anyways, but I'm not gonna show your point. Uh, Y'all did already. <laughs> How you gonna say some shit like that? <laughs> hey, no disrespect. But I'm gonna disrespect the shit out of you. But I ain't mean no disrespect. <laughs> Yeah, I have a better point. Um, and then he keeps going. And then he keeps going. I don't even want to go here. <laughs> like, look at this nigga. Bro, like, I damn. I oh, know. I said going to state. Yeah, I went Denver. Um, Gems? They had Denver at the top. Okay. For sure. I gotta start. I gotta pay attention to Denver more. This Utah year. was uh, second with twenty four percent of the vote, tied with Golden State, and then you had okay. uh, Portland with seven percent. Um, one underrated thing that I, I hadn't considered. Um, and it's not for like lead wide, but if the Lakers and Clippers meet in the playoffs, like that's all home games for the Lakers mm-hmm. because their fans are gonna yeah. find a way into that stadium exactly. even for their quote unquote away game. So like that's a like just take that into consideration if they meet in the playoffs. Like that's an underrated hey, component. Are we ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which team will be the most fun to watch? The Lakers. That's a good answer. Like, I wanted to go Bucks, but I already watch all their games regardless of how fun they are. So, mm-hmm. Pelicans. Um, I ain't want to be a homer. <coughs> That's a good one. I, I want said, Sacramento. I said Pelicans. Okay. Who won't want to see Zion? Like, exactly. You got Lonzo I mean, we're going to see him a bunch. 
because <laughs> they on <laughs> national TV every week. Um, which team has the most promising young core? Pelicans. Pelicans. Yep. I said Pelicans. Run it. So did GMs. They had uh, oh, Pelicans sorry. with uh, 28% and then the Nuggets with 24%. Sorry, okay. we skip. who is the most fun to watch for them? Uh, Nuggets, 31% of the vote. Pelicans, 21. Warriors, 17. Bucks, 10. And Trailblazers, 7. Hmm. On them threes, the <laughs> Threes. I don't even know who you're talking about. Uh, the Bucks. Uh, Oh, oh. I was like, Golden State fit that bill. <laughs> same one. That's another Trailblazers t- again, fit that bill. Again, same reasons. The whole damn league. Again, same reasons. Uh, which player is the most athletic? Zion. Zion. I said Giannis. I did too. Okay. Interesting. Like, I get Zion because he can just jump out of this gym, but Giannis is a unique, like, build of limbs and athleticism and strength. Like, Agility. Like he's graceful and powerful. Yeah, and it's like, and he's so long. Like someone had threw a pass to him in the preseason, and it went so far behind him, and he just leaned back, and his arm was all the way back <laughs> there. He caught the ball, and then like a motion just kind of brought it forward and dunk. Like it's, yeah. it's weird. He's like Groot. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what reminds me of. Like for that's real, fair. except not as slow. Yeah. Yeah. A fast group. They had a Zion at 41%, Giannis at 28%, Aaron Gordon, Derek Jones Jr., Mitchell Robinson, and Russell Westbrook all had 7%, and mm-hmm. Zach Levine had 3%. Okay. Yeah. All very athletic people. Mm hmm. Uh, which player is the best pure shooter? Curry. Curry. Run Steph. It. Yeah. Run it, run it, run it. Which player is the best moving without the ball? Clay, Clay Thompson. I want JJ. Right I, I want JJ. JJ and Cole, bro. JJ, JJ has Cole. been getting open for years, years. and years, and, and no one Cole, can still stop bro. him. Mr. Two, three dribbles, though. He cold, bro. <laughs> Mr. Two, mean, three dribbles, JJ bro. JJ don't dribble either. 40 fucking points. <laughs> <laughs> he don't need to, bro. He don't even got to put the ball on the fucking ground. GMs agree with Tim and uh, Ken. They had Clay Thompson with 43%. JJ had 25%. Steph had 21%. Kyle Corver had 7%. And CJ McComb had 4%. Okay. I don't watch CJ enough, apparently, because I... I I, I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't even consider. Uh, which player is the best passer? I got Le- LeBron yeah. James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Run it. Who the GMs got? They agree. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Like he's... Might be the best passer in the history of basketball. Fifty-seven percent. That magic would have something to say about that. Mm-hmm. I said it might. Magic I'm just saying who. Would, I'm just saying who would have something right. to say about it. They both like it. Honestly, that's the only person yeah, that that's comes to mind yeah. where I'm like. Yeah. Magic was might cold not too. keep smiling at you if you said that to him. Magic was cold. I, that's why I said magic, magic was, cold. was cold. I didn't take anything away. I said Mike. Jokic was number two on their list though for this year. Thirty-two percent. Uh, Chris Jokic's Paul cold, uh. was seven percent, and James Harden with four. Like Jokic will do some shit where like the pass is coming and he's already redirecting it to somebody mm-hmm. else, like like some wild shit. He ain't even looking at the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is the toughest player in the NBA? I go Kawhi. What's the name of the the um, dude who's trained in like MMA? James Johnson. Yeah, him. If you're talking about tough in the sense of like who you don't want to get into a fight with, that's James Johnson for me. But if you I, mean just like tough, I I, I would want to give a vote to Clay Thompson. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he's a lot tougher than people want to give him oh, credit Clay's for. Yeah. Shit, uh, but I mean, Kawhi is a robot, dog. That motherfucker was just—he dragged himself through the f- <laughs> fucking playoffs. Well, he also only played nine games the previous season, so mm-hmm. when he was supposedly CBD. supposedly healthy, <laughs> he put that CBD on him. <laughs> I feel like that shit is a scam, personally. Huh? I feel like that hey, shit is a scam. People, personally. people swear by it. I was just to say, people swear by Psycho, it for real. Psycho sim- when you could yeah. just as soon as you put it on instantly, get up out of here. Right, like it's, just put it's, it's the placebo effect. Like <laughs> put the CBD, hold on, I'm good to go. Like if you gave him some unmarked uh, jail and just said, "Put this on," and be like, "This shit." What am I just supposed like, to be doing? Oh, just like, oh, fucking oh. Space Jail. There's yeah, like secret water. stuff. There's like a secret stuff. That's what CBD is. Back with secret stuff. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> CBD is just secret stuff, bro. There you have it. We broke it here. Well, That's we breaking news. Where's the pen? Where's the like, write that down. That is special funny. stuff. CBD. Wow. Secret stuff. Secret stuff. No, that's funny. And they was killing his winter. They was water. fucking that shit up. They was passing it around. This shit, water flying all over the place. They trying to catch the drops. First of all, how is that much water in this little ass <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they was fucking that damn water up, dog. <laughs> hey, none of y'all think this had no flavor? <laughs> hey, Mike said it was secret and special, so they, they just like, went. Fuck it. Run that. Let me get them roids. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they was juicing those space games. Goddamn. Uh, I went with PJ Tucker. Okay. Yeah. Like, the fact that he's, like, 6'4 and, like, bangs with centers. Yeah. And, like, he seems to be about that life. Mm-hmm. Even Because I wanted to go Draymond, but, like, Draymond seems kind of... On the court, though. Draymond tough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just feel like he more talk than bite. Okay. Which well, just means that annoying. he talks a lot. I can't wait to watch Draymond play this year. I am so excited to watch Draymond and stuff just be. Uh, NBA has uh, Steven Adams, 32% of the vote. Draymond Green, 18. PJ Tucker, 14. And LeBron, 7. LeBron. Mentally tough, maybe. Uh, which player would you want taking the last shot with the game on the line? Stuff mm. covered. I said Dame Dollar. Ah, uh, I said Kawhi. He gets uh, them random ass bullshit bounces all the fucking time, bro. And the shit just falls. It just I, falls. I went Kawhi because I feel like he's the one that can get his shot. Like, regardless of the situation. Uh, who's like, on him, where he's at. And he can shoot from all over the court. And it's gonna fall. He has a size advantage. He's big as hell like he's strong as hell like we, you said like i just feel like he's the most versatile scorer with mm-hmm. katie out they should have a category with who has the most shots that has the most bounces before they fall okay, in the damn room had... this motherfucker has Chill like 15 out. bounces it, it, before it, it that bitch falls no he was doing that on the bucks too <laughs> chill out every time he threw that bitch up chill out more bounce to the ounce <laughs> come here who'd you have i had dame because i feel like Dame doesn't shy away from any big moment, which mm-hmm. I think is really important. The the sports psychology aspect of it, like Dame is ready for that Stay moment. Stay ready. Mm-hmm. Every single time that moment presents itself. Either on the quarter or on the mic. Yeah. And um, did you see that he actually has like a uh, a safe of songs that he re- re- did over the summer that he's planning to release after he hit certain milestones this season? Oh, <laughs> so like he has, okay. like he might drop 50 on somebody and the trash don't come out that same night. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody gonna fight yeah, me. Yeah, he trying to piss <laughs> motherfuckers off, dog. Nah. I like it. That's I got dope. Dame. Who'd you have? Um, Curry. Still the best pure shooter yeah. in the league. Yeah. Never go wrong. With GMs stuff. had Curry with 44%. Then they had a three way tie for second with KD, Dame Dalla, and Clay Thompson at 11%. No matter the Kawhi and Kyrie had 7%. Okay, okay, okay. What rule, um, be it regarding play, playoff format, et cetera, most needs to change? I said playoff seating. Yeah, same thing. Just open it all the way up? 1 through 16. Yeah, that'd let's, be Let's great. figure out a way. Exactly. If you need to space out the games more, then space out the games more. Hmm. Give us them. the matchups that we deserve to have. Like, let's really see the best of the best play. And I feel like it will even itself out with the schedule imbalance. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like just all the West teams are going to get in because, right. like, they're still playing heavy West um, schedule. So, True. like, the East teams aren't, aren't going to be like, oh, well, that's not fair because right. we're worse. It's still your conference. <laughs> right. Like, you'll still get a bump, like, being in the East because you play shitty teams all the time. So, But you can't be so terrible that you just get in on principle. Yeah. Um, I went with reduce the number of regular season games. Like, I love basketball. I love watching basketball. But I think for the health of the players and, like, just to make the games more special, like, they need to be more scarce. How um, many? I will start at 75. So let's reduce it by seven. Yeah. I think we talked about this before, didn't we? Oh, wait. That's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did the math quick, but it, it seemed to check out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, start at 77. Um, I think that 75? I thought about it before. 75. Thank you. Um, I know that I thought about it before because... Um, like play everybody in your division four times and then everybody else two and I forgot what that number came to. I think it was sixty six or something around there. But Tim Stout, I don't know. I I'm just saying like whoever does the math, like yeah, yeah, fill in the number yeah, there. Yeah. But um But I think we talked about this before, hadn't we? Because we were saying that maybe we can make uh like play in games for NBA games to kind of stretch it out a little bit. For the like the, the lack of those seven I think, yeah, I mean, like, they can make it up, but I'm just saying, like, for, like, if we're doing this low management and that becomes, like, the norm anyway, like, most people aren't going to play more than 70 some odd games. Mm -hmm. So, um. True. Like, a decent season is still, like, oh, he played 75 games. He's he's been pretty healthy. I can see that. What'd you say? 
Um, I said the same thing with the playoffs. <clears throat> okay. So as far as I think that it should be open to that, that's why I said well, we that off top. Yeah, we like, got it. I think it's open for everybody. What did you have, Ken? Yeah, I have playoffs. Yeah, you got playoffs soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, playoffs. Yeah. Playoffs. playoffs. <laughs> that is what the GMs <clears throat> had as well. I think they also had like changed the order of the draft and free agency, so that the free agency comes first and something sense, else. Though. I lost my spot. Back in the NFL. Yeah. So you fill in holes with the, the draft free agent, with the veterans, and then the draft. They have be, playoff yeah. seating first with eighteen percent of the vote. Draft. As in, like, better combine or more medical info, 11%. Draft lottery also was 11%. Free agency was also 11%. They won it before the draft or no uh, morat- moratorium. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then schedule also had 11% of the vote. Fewer games, no back-to-backs. All right. Uh, which team needs to blow mm-hmm. it all up? Now, this is not on the, the GM survey. The, the last two were just yeah. questions we have. Um, I said it's wait and see. Because I feel like so many teams what have, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> forced to pick one. I couldn't. Because I feel well, like so they... many teams changed drastically over the offseason <laughs> that there isn't a team that's been sticking together that has to absolutely blow it up outside. Well, there's outside qu- of. exactly because you know there's teams that have been stagnant. It's only one that I actually just thought of, but oh, they kind of we'll say it. Washington. Okay. All that's, right, your pick. that's your pick. This stupid. I had a Minnesota. Minnesota. They got to do something here. This I don't know what they're gonna do or what they can do, given that they gave Wiggins all that money. But That's what I'm saying like something's got to change. You got something Minnesota. to prove this year. <laughs> okay, who you got? I still set the mix, even though they all got shit. <laughs> like it wasn't really anything to blow up there. Yeah. Uh, I went with Washington. Um, like ho- doubling down on Bill and just waiting for John Wall to come back moment. is asinine. Like, I mean, I get it. You still got to sell tickets, and hopefully, Bill can. Raise his game, but you don't have anything else there. Nope. Although the rookie does look good, Rui, Rui Hachimura. Hachimura, yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, Washington is my pick, and I feel like Bradley Bill, even well, I mean, he can't be traded this year, but before that, like he was at the peak of his value mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. he's like the perfect second or third star for a team. He can be whatever you need him to be, and you can get like a Paul George like mm-hmm. haul for him because he still had two years left on his contract, so. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. We'll see what they do. Um, and then which bad team is the closest to returning to relevance? I've already tipped my hand here. The Chicago Bulls. I think so. I don't. I got Sacramento. Not the Lakers, because we're a bad luck. Man, <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I went with Dallas. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. like, at first I had Chicago penciled in there because, spoiler alert, they're in, Well, actually, I took them out. But at first I had them as a playoff team. Um, but I feel like that's about their ceiling, whereas Dallas, if everything breaks right, like, they can actually be a championship contender within the next mm-hmm. two to three years. Mm-hmm. Luka looks really good. Mm-hmm. All, All right. right. Who he play for? So, Camille, can you be my – uh? My scorekeeper? Yes, I can. I need some so, chips. each of you guys are going to get 10 players. Okay. All you got to do is tell me who you play for. Okay. Um, we're going to go in alternating order. Does anybody want to go first? I'll go first. It's whatever. All right. <clears throat> Till. Yep. Who does Shabazz Napier play for? God damn. <laughs> that motherfucker be moving, dog. Damn, I'll Memphis. Incorrect. He plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Mm. That motherfucker oh, moving, dog. <laughs> Kendrick. Yes. Who does Jabari Parker play for? Damn, Damn, boy. Who yeah. do you play for now? I do. <laughs> God, damn, I should have went second. I know where he played. Can no, I take I, it? I, I, I purposely gave you guys people. Yep. The Hawks. Oh, okay. Back. Let's go. We this time, him. bells mean good thing. Okay. Um, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, Jabari Parker plays for the Atlanta Hawks. There we go. Tim. And for this round, I gave you each a player from the other person's favorite team. Oh, okay. That should be easy, then. So, Tim, yes. who does Reggie Bullock play for? What the fuck? No! <laughs> <laughs> you will fuck with Reggie Bullock play? Uh, I think I know this one. Cleveland. Incorrect. What the fuck? Plays for the New York Knicks. Yeah. If you remember, he signed the hey, contract and they had to reamend it because he was hurt. I didn't give a fuck. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we talked about it on the show. We did, and I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Ken. Yeah. Who does Tony Snell play for? Um, Detroit. Ken is a semi Bucks fan. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? It's I've get, been set up. It's bamboozled. It's gonna get harder for him. <laughs> uh, Tim, one of your favorite people. Uh, Who does Alan Crabb play for? Oh, uh, he just got traded. Oh damn! Oh damn! Damn! I was just reading a trade that he was in. Who the fuck did he get traded to? It was in the trade to help somebody to go to the Nets. I don't know. Yeah. Who the fuck? God damn it. I was just I looking know. at it. Because like he got traded for two first round picks. <laughs> With two first round picks. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's only 30 teams. Just say one. You got a one in 30 chance. Take it easy. And you know it ain't Brooklyn, so one in 29. Memphis. No, incorrect. Oh, damn I'm it. <laughs> uh, he plays for the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, okay. Ken, mm-hmm. who does Myers Leonard play for? Shit, uh, fuck. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, I was Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said his name like it's going to jog something. <laughs> shit. Well, I was Leonard. I see why I said it. I think that boy played. Um, Toronto? Incorrect. Damn. Miami Heat. Oh, shit. Uh, Tim. He replaced the sign white side. Hopefully you get this because you know this player pretty well. Who does Brandon Knight play for? Bro, I lost track of Brandon Knight like two years ago. <laughs> he been moving too. <laughs> they been moving and shuffling the shit out of him. Uh huh. I think I know where he at. Nigga, I ain't thinking none of these right. <laughs> <clears throat> Cleveland. Hey, oh, y'all won. Oh, yeah. all right. Cleveland Cavaliers. Damn. That's and he's you. still hurt. Can. <laughs> <laughs> Career stats. Injured. Who does Jeremy Lamb play for? He don't play for OKC no more, don't he? That uh-huh. was like two or three teams ago. That's how you know. Though. He actually got picked up this offseason to help replace the production of someone who left. Who left where? Well, duh. Kim Jim. <laughs> I was like, like, who like left it. where, motherfucker? <laughs> um, That's the last time I remember saying his name, by the way. <laughs> Minnesota? Incorrect. Oh, okay. He plays for the Indiana Pacers. Oh. Who he was replacing? Bogdanovich's production. Oh. Tim. <clears throat> Who does Jeff Green play for? I was just looking at that motherfucker right there. Too. Oh, Utah. <laughs> I was go. thinking about their defense. He was talking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ken. Who does Jay Crowder play for? Jay Crowder now play. Oh, he be know. moving. He be moving too. <laughs> That's why I picked these people. I thought he was. A, I thought he for some reason. He, he the actually Clippers. didn't. He didn't change. T- I'm. I'm not gonna. Let, I'm. He okay. didn't change teams this year. Like, but he did change teams at the trade deadline. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Just say a team. Um, Atlanta. Incorrect. Isn't it Memphis? Yep. Oh no. Um. So this is the market. The I just want to say, say right now it's tied two two. Oh shit! Let's go. <laughs> I just want to point that out. This, this is the Morris Twins round. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, Tim. I can't remember their names. Who does Markeith Morris play for? Damn. What is that? <laughs> Which one code? Well, both of them. New York. Damn. Uh, Incorrect. Damn. Damn, son. Now I probably got who I got. Markeith Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. Ken, who does Marcus Morris play for? <laughs> oh, sorry. Markeith plays for Detroit. Yeah. Damn, wait. So, I Ken. That, I that was wow. Hey, I who does Marcus Morris play for? Oh, um, watch the incorrect. Damn, the Knicks. The Knicks. He plays Again, the Knicks. I was thinking of the. Uh, that's oh. how I can't remember their names. Oh. <laughs> I can't never remember who is who, but I know where they at. <laughs> oh, no, okay, fuck that. Dog. Uh, so we, we still tied two two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tim, who does Al Farouk Aminu play for? Oh, no. Portland. Incorrect. Oh damn, he ain't been there for a minute, has he? He was there last year. What the he fuck? He changed teams in the off season. Who got it? Who picked him up? Do you know? Mm-mm. Orlando. Um, Man, why the oh, fuck would you? Never mind. <laughs> I did know he went to Orlando. Hmm. Uh, Ken, mm-hmm. who does Evan Turner play for? Do you play in Dallas? Why well, I think he playing Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna look at me, folks? Gonna answer the question for you? Memphis. 
Incorrect. ATL. He played the wild. <laughs> he got traded for Kent Bazemore. Oh, okay. Uh, two two. Damn. How many more questions we got? We getting to the point where you, we just gonna have a sudden death. Uh, I'll give you two more, and then if it's still uh, tied, I got some extra names. Right, for sure. Let's go. Uh, wait, so Tim. Yeah, so Tim. It's a bit of a layup, but I wanted to help you guys both out. So, who does DeAndre Jordan play for? The Nets. Ken, your layup. All right. Who does Isaiah Thomas play for? Damn. We just talked about it like two oh, weeks ago. Oh, come on. Shit. You know this. I do. That's what's pissing me <laughs> off. I can't think right now. Damn. You about to trick off the lane? I am. I'm for the blow the bunny, bro. Because <laughs> I cannot. It's right there, dog. Just say a team. What team you think it is? Where is that nigga, dog? <laughs> Somewhere. Hold on. In the East. Five. Correct. Um, Four. Indiana? No. Incorrect. Fucking A. Washington. He's, yep. Washington Wizards. He hurt. That's his career. Uh, okay. Tim, for the win. Okay. Who does CJ Miles play for? I feel like he just. Oh, the tension. He just got picked up. A game winner. <laughs> is he Dame? <laughs> <laughs> or is he Steph? Go on, State. Incorrect. Ah. Washington. Good job. Damn. It's Isaiah Thomas is his teammate. Ken, to tie. Ain't going to sudden Pressure. Death. I know. <laughs> Who I'm does? To lose. I'm going to blow it. Emmanuel Moutier played for. God, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> <That's more. laughs> um, Who did he play for? Don't try to confuse the question. Maybe it'll jog um, his memory. I ain't won't. jogging shit right now. <laughs> um, what's his name again? Emmanuel, Emmanuel Moutier. Moutier. <clears throat> Right Former lottery pick. I'm trying to see where he plays for the. He played for Minnesota. Incorrect. Fuck. Camille, do you know? Isn't it uh, San Antonio? Incorrect. Utah Jazz. Oh, I wasn't. Mm. I don't follow them enough. So I just got four more names, four or five more names. Uh, just whoever knows it, shout it out. Ricky Rubio. Phoenix. Yeah. Derrick Rose. Oh, Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> If you um all star. <laughs> uh you already said that he is young. Chicago. Let's see if you oh, I was gonna say let's oh. see if they remember. Uh and Wilson Chandler. Where is Wilson Chandler? Oh he's a vet for uh I don't know where he is though. Damn, I was just looking at his name earlier too. He's I don't remember where he is. He's a good vet. Nope. No. A contending team know. got him. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. He was there? Mm mm. What no was a yike was it the Pelicans? Mm mm. Who got him? Who? Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, He's suspended, too. Um, For steroids, I think. <laughs> All right. So we are moving into Kim, the... Or Tim Wan. Congrats, sir. Oh, yeah. Hey. Sorry. Hey. Congratulations, sir. Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Belichick out here. I mean, you blew the bunny. Though. Yeah, you did blow the bunny. Weird. I did. Uh, so we move into the uh, predictions portion of the show. Could you remind me... Prediction. The all star breakdown. Uh, front court, four court. guards, six front court players, and two wild cards. Okay. My so, math might be off. I think I'm good. I think you can massage the, the, the categories a little bit. Um, I did this portion real so, fast. All star teams. We'll start with the Eastern <clears throat> Conference. T E C K order? Sure. That's cool. Uh, Giannis, Embiid, Simmons, Middleton. Walker, Irving, Horford, Griffin, Siakam, Bill. Okay. They got it. It's a lot of big single lineup. <laughs> yeah. The East is big, huh? Well, I mean, Simmons is still a point guard. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, the and East he can is shoot. Wise, yeah. And he can shoot threes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> uh, I have Giannis, Embiid, Simmons, Walker, Miles Turner, mm. Siakam, Aaron Gordon, Kyrie, Blake Griffin, 
Jimmy Butler, Bradley Beal, and my long shot, Julius Randle. Hmm. I feel like you got more names than I do. How many you got? Was that a 12, right? Yeah, 12. Oh, I only got 10. I literally just did the breakdown. So I had two more people. Oh, shit. That's hard. I'm going <laughs> to stick with my 10. We'll go okay. ball. You, you take some time and think about it. We'll come back to you at the end. How about that? Jesus Christ. Sure. All right. Uh, my list. I have Giannis, Blake Griffin, Joel B, Kyrie Irving, Kimba Walker, Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, Bradley Beal, Jimmy. Chris Middleton, uh, Pascal Siakam, Zach Levine, and my long shot this season, but I have a really good feeling about him having a great year, Eric Bledsoe. I think the Bucks get three All-Stars. Well, damn. Jumping out the window. I am. Yeah. I have faith. I have faith, and I think this is Bledsoe's year, and I think he's going to be the reason why the Bucks make it to where they make it. Well, so. As long as they lose I the don't Lakers. disagree with him having a good year. I feel like his playoff performance is going to taint like his all-star candidacy because people are like, I want to see it win. You know, it could. Like that's, but I think he's going to put up some are. really, really good numbers this like year. The narrative around him is going to be too strong. Yeah, He's going to have to put up some better like numbers, but I think he can do it this year. Okay. Um, Giannis, Kemba Walker, Kyrie, um, Embiid, Derrick Rose, <laughs> um, Bradley Bill, Jimmy Butler, Trey Young, Siakam, mm. Um, Blake Griffin, Ben Simmons, Zach Levine. Did you find two people? Yeah. Um, I'm going to add Butler and Young to my list. <clears throat> Butler Trey and who? Young. Okay. Trey. Gotcha. Uh, I'm actually going to skip to the Western Conference All-Stars. Perfect. So, Tim, do you, you have 12? 12? I got 10. <laughs> do you want me add to me? while you were talking. <laughs> I'll go first. We'll go at order. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Steph... Jokic, Dame, Harden, Westbrook, Mitchell, Leonard, Gobert, James, Davis, Fox, mm. Towns, yep. mm. Doncic. Mm. I don't have Paul George because I don't think he'll be healthy enough. Yep. Like he'll play enough games before the All-Star break. I, I think he might. I think he might too. And he's coming off double shoulder surgery, so I don't he know is. where he'll be when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> You are a jerk, <laughs> Tim. Um, I got Leonard, James, mm-hmm. Davis, Jokic, Harden, Westbrook, George, Lillard, Cat, Steph, Gobert, and Doncic. Doncic. I have Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Nikola Jokic, Dame Lillard. Carl Anthony Towns, Paul George, Luka Doncic, and Donovan Mitchell. Everybody's just stacked, dog. <laughs> it's just so many people. And it's man. funny, like, it picking all star teams for the different conferences are difficult for different for reasons. reasons. Yeah. Because, yes. like, the East, you get to the dregs of it really quickly. Yep. Yeah. Um, whereas the West, like, you're leaving off people, like, damn. I think exactly. You like, yeah. You leave at least like five or Aldridge six. on here. You ain't got the DeMar DeRozan's on here. Right. You got any nine spurs? <laughs> I mean, shit, they're both good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have LeBron, um, Curry, Harden, um, Kawhi, Dame, Westbrook, um, Anthony Davis, Jokic, um, Luca, Mitchell, Towns, D'Angelo Russell. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. You barely all started East last year. Watch it. More efficient system. <laughs> Watch it happen. A better D'Angelo Russell, you think? They're going to be fine without Clay for a little bit. In order, what are your Eastern Conference <gasps> playoff teams? God oh, dang, you said in order? order. Damn, I ain't put them in order, bro. I just got eight of them. <laughs> the hell was y'all, what y'all thought this was? I got mine in order, but it was I hard to put do. Mine in order, guys. What the fuck? Fine. Okay. Uh, number eight. eight. I'm going to go with Lando. Why are you going eight? To- number seven. I'm going to go with. Could you- I'm going one eight. Could you go one eight, please? What is wrong with this what kid? The, what like, does it matter? Because it's the standings, you always go one from eight. I mean, like you want to... I guess. Let them sure, I'll start over. Do. Number one, I got the Bucks. Number two, I'll roll with the Sixers. Three, I got the Pacers. Four, I got the Celtics. Mm. Five, I'll go with... You know what? I'm going to go with the Pistons at five. Mm. Toronto at six. The Nets at seven. Mm. And Orlando at eight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to listen back because I feel 
feel like there's some wild stuff in there. Um, <laughs> may have been. <laughs> my, my, I mean, mine, mine is pretty volatile too. Uh, one, Milwaukee. Two, Philadelphia. Three, Miami. Mm. I could see it. Four, Boston. Five, Brooklyn. Six, Toronto. Seven, Orlando. Eight, Indiana. All right. I got Milwaukee one, Philly two, Boston three, Brooklyn four, Miami five, Hmm. Indy six, Toronto seven, and Chicago eight. And I do want to point Hmm. out the fact that although I'm a Bucks fan, I do not have Milwaukee at number one just because I'm a Bucks fan. I have Milwaukee over Philly at number one because I think Philly's built for the postseason while the Bucks are built for the regular season. I think the Bucks will have a better record. Yeah. Plus, like, Philly got to get acclimated to all their new people. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee has Some continuity. continuity pretty much across the board. Mm-hmm. And Giannis looks better. Mm-mm. He does. Ken? Um, one, I have the Bucks. Two, Philly. Um, three, Boston. Four, Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Five, Toronto. Um, six, Detroit. Um, seven, Miami. Eight, Indiana. Oh, the fucking West. Oh, shoot. I didn't put Detroit in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. You have to. <laughs> And so you got Chicago. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh in order. Western Conference playoff teams. It's gonna be God difficult. damn. No, it's this gonna is be hard, difficult. bro. Especially because I didn't do it beforehand. This could be real hard. All right. Uh That's shit. What she said. I know, yeah. right? Um Number one, I'ma go with Fuck, I don't even got Utah on this bitch. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this heart is a bitch. Okay, um, because Utah got to be in. Do they got to be in there, though? Like, damn. All right, so, number one, I'm going to go with the Clippers. No, right. Sorry, number one, I'm going to go with Denver. Do you want Eric to go first? I'm going to go with Denver. Mm-mm. You good? I'm, I got it. I'm going to go with Denver, number one. I think. <laughs> number two, I'm going to go with. The Lakers. Number three, I'm going to go with the Clippers. Four, I'm going to go Houston. Five, I'm going to go Portland. Six, I'm going to go Pelicans. Mm. S- two, four, six, seven. Oh, hey, hey, okay. <laughs> Eight, s- uh, how, what You're I seven. Look? I'm at seven? Yeah. Utah. Let me go. I was like, I gotta throw Utah in that motherfucker somewhere. Um, and number eight, I'm gonna go Golden State. <coughs> you didn't say Utah yet. That was your first time saying Utah. Utah was number seven. Yeah, yeah cause I didn't yeah, have them on my list. Yeah. Remember, oh, I was freaking I out. You. I, got <laughs> I didn't have them on my list. That's why, because you had said it before. Mm-hmm. Like Utah. Okay, I got you. Uh, okay. one Denver, two Utah, three Clippers, four Houston, five Lakers, six Portland, seven Golden State, eight San Antonio. And I just want to say those last two, I'm just betting on infrastructure. What, was, um, what were your last two again? Golden State and San Antonio. Okay. Like, I can't, like, until San Antonio doesn't make the playoffs, like, I got to roll with them. <laughs> just got to give them the Benny. <laughs> <laughs> they find a way every year. Every year, dog. I'm going Los Angeles Lakers, Houston Rockets, Los Angeles Clippers, Utah Jazz, Denver Nuggets, Portland Trail Blazers. Golden State Warriors, Dallas Mavericks. Really? Yes. I believe in Luka. I believe in KP. I believe in their coach because Carlisle is amazing at what he does, and he has two of the most talented players he has gotten to coach in tandem in quite some time. Yeah, I just don't know if they have enough around Around them yet. I think they'll be like, I think those two. Like when I watched that preseason game, I was like, Mm. Yeah, they look terrible against us, but they look better. Right? No, no, I, I wasn't even looking at like qualitatively. I'm just like thinking like who else do they have on their team? And like it's like when you get to that third option, it's like Tim Hardaway Jr. or you know what I mean? Like, I, like I said, I think they're about two or three, two mm-hmm. or three away from being serious. I, I just believe in Luca. <laughs> That's fair. I'm drink. Yeah, I'm drinking the Kool Aid. Oh, and just to go back. Like if San Antonio uh-huh. doesn't make it, Sacramento was my nine. Uh, New Orleans was my nine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go ahead, Ken. All right. Um, number one, Houston. Um, two, the Clippers. Three, the Lakers. Four, Denver. Uh, five, going to state. Six, Portland. Um, seven, Utah. Eight, Dallas. Hmm. Uh, 
Alrighty then. And now league wide predictions for <laughs> awards. So, jumping off. Rookie of the year. So these are <clears> the ones <throat> I didn't do. So I'm going off the top of the dummy dome. Um I'm gonna go with Zion. That's a safe choice. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. they're gonna try to be real cautious and protective of him, but when he's in, I can see that he he's gonna be real. He's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. gonna be a real big problem. Yeah. Um, I just want to be different, so I will say I'll do it for the four one four. You about to take mine? Okay, then I won't. Um, uh, Michael Porter Jr. I just want to make sure a hero got some love. No, he, I, I got I got Tyler. <laughs> I got the love for him. I got Tyler Hero down. I'm for the order of jersey too, by the way. I got to. Who you got for rookie the year? I have Zion. I mean, it wouldn't even be right. All the hype. <laughs> but like, real talk. All the hype that's been put into it. I mean, have you seen him? If like, he doesn't. Yeah, I've seen yeah. him. Yeah, you, I He's mean. destroying cats. Exactly. <laughs> like, the, like, only, the only thing that makes me hesitate is his health. Yeah. And, like, the fact that he's already injured. Mm. They're saying he's overweight. Like, I'm just concerned that he won't play enough games. Like, when he plays, like, I think he'll be good. Yeah. Which, I mean, like, is kind of rich coming from the person that just picked Michael Porter Jr. as a rookie of the year. But <laughs> and still. I, I wasn't picking Hero just solely off of the 414. Like, that was a, definitely a bonus. But I, Jimmy Butler likes him. And I think that's important because Jimmy is going to be their engine, which, better or for worse, you're about to get some Jimmy ball. So it's going to be helpful if he likes who yeah. he's playing with. So. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to set Tyler up for a, a, a pretty pretty good year. I think going back to the GM survey, I think they had Zion mm, heavily. So. Yeah. Like 60 plus percent. 99. <clears throat> uh, defensive player of the year. Mm. Oh, with Giannis. I did too. It was definitely a three way tie, but yeah. It's <laughs> I don't remember who. I don't know if they even asked the GMs. Um, most improved player. <laughs> this is fun. You got Brandon Ingram again? No, I have Lonzo. <laughs> oh, I actually have Lonzo too. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. We got Lonzo. Hmm. I went with Marvin Bagley for the reasons I said before. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go with Siakam for the reasons I've said before. Uh, okay. Uh, six man, the Lou Williams I'm, annual. I'm about to say here. Or... Do we do we have anybody outside of Lou Williams? Lou Williams. I think he's set up perfectly because like he's gonna be like their go-to scorer. Mm-hmm. He just go be the or bucket enough. off the bench. Does yeah. he's gonna be in some closing lineups too? Yeah. Like scary. he'll be their initiator. I just I shouldn't mm-hmm. say go to score. But That's yeah. scary. Um, coach of the year. I got Doc Rivers. I went Alvin Gentry. Okay. No, I'm hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I couldn't I say have, Franco. Franco. I, like, come on. I mean, he'll be fired. Don't even sound season. right. Um, Eric Spolstra. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think, no, I'm happy again, I have Miami at third in the East, and if that happens, like I think. Yeah. Who's the Who's the Pistons coach? Dwayne Casey. Well, I I give oh yeah who he coached for <laughs> oh yeah I give it to Dwayne Casey right. I think that, I think he'll do some things with Detroit that make people kind of like okay you know let's kind of keep because they too. got some pieces over there I think he'll know to do I mean they have some pieces that were good in like eight years they've ago. added some they we'll got see how old they go pieces. yeah but we'll see how they gel they got enough there to make it make some noise. Yeah. Okay. Ruffles of feathers. Be like a little fly, fly past you. Like, whoa, what the fuck was that over there? I just, I just remember it like last year. Tim was trying to explain why he thought Phoenix. the Suns had yeah. the best offseason. He's like, yeah, they got a new point guard. They had no point guard. They didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can't you were just on. a year early. That's all it was, Tim. Uh, MVP. Who you got? I wanted to say Giannis. I can definitely see him <clears> repeating <throat> something that's rarely done in this league. But I'm going to go with Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with LeBron. I'm think, going LeBron, too. Really? I would think it would be Anthony Davis. I would go Davis, Davis over LeBron. Oh, because LeBron he's going to take the backseat, and the narrative is already out there that he's taking the backseat, the, the shit that he does behind the scenes or in the backseat is going to be that much greater. But I then think, that means people. AD's numbers are going to be even greater. Right. AD go eat, True. I think they'll give it to LeBron. I think they'll give it to LeBron for setting him up. I, I think, think they'll give part it to LeBron it, for, just for give him is like he's already LeBron. like setting the narrative. Like I didn't even want MVP. I'm pushing him for it. Right. That's like, what I'm so saying. Like, like, no, I'm saying like he's setting up that <clears throat> people won't vote for him. But I think that's that going to make people vote for him. I don't. He's like, telling them not He's to. telling them vote for him, essentially. Um, I went with Giannis and that was only partially a homer pick. Like I actually went through like all the MVP candidates and like you can kind of like 
write off reasons for everybody. Like, I don't know if Golden State will win enough games. I don't know if MB will play enough games. I don't know if Jokic's play will be so above and beyond everybody else that he'll be on that level. Dame, again, I don't know if they'll win enough games. Um, Harden's going to get the, the vote split with mm-hmm. Westbrook. Um, Kawhi and Paul George, same thing. Kevin Durant is hurt all year. Like, it's just like mm-hmm. going through. I'm like, shit, Giannis, like, if Giannis does exactly what he did last year and the Bucks win at the clip that we assume that they will, like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> it'll be hard for people to vote against them aside from the fact that they voted for him last year. Yeah. Yep. Fair enough. <clears throat> so, let's end this. Our predictions for the finals. <laughs> so, what I want from y'all okay. is who beats who <clears throat> and in how many games. Okay. Tim? Anybody want to go first? Sure. Um, <laughs> for this I'll go Bucks, Lakers, Bucks, and Six. Hmm. Wow. Damn um, it. I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bucks That'd over be Lakers so and Six. Fucking lit, dog. Bucks, Lakers, Bucks, and Six. Fuck. Bucks also have home court advantage yeah. in my uh, situation as well. That'd be so fucking lit, dog. Ken, who do you have? Um, Lakers, Bucks, Lakers and six. Hmm. You wish. Predictable. <laughs> It'll take Lakers seven. Hell no. Stop. Now they not win game seven anymore. Stop. Who will stop AD? Nobody. Because, I mean, we're... Uh, Who? No, you have to run the, into two... The dude that you just no, said was no. defensive player of the year? Oh, fuck. Y'all got both the Lopez. Oh, you have to keep running into... There's some big bodies on that Bucks team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lopez was a good pickup. Both of them make I should have said uh, Robin. Bro- both Robin, Robin, Robin about to be Ro- shooting all dude, the threes. Robin off the bench. And he's an enforcer it's gonna type. It's plenty of tea time. It's, uh, he's an enforcer type, too. He'll, he'll muff LeBron. Them, Lo- <laughs> them Lopez brothers are crazy. They're crazy as hell. LeBron, not for the, we're not going to get to this point and lose to the Bucks. The side show Or to whoever it is. Shit, bro. It could be Philly. It could be whoever. Okay. Lakers not get to the finals and lose Hey, we got an enforcer now, bro. Never yeah, damn I know and that. he's seven feet tall. Oh, I got we got a LeBron Detroit, James Detroit, Boston. Hmm? Detroit, Boston. What? what you said with Lakers don't get to the finals and lose. Hey, I ain't, hey, I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I ain't talking about back then. We're talking about right now. Y'all ain't even been to the playoffs. Right. right. Exactly. So we ain't going to get to the finals and lose. Like, I don't even think we barely be getting to the playoffs. No, some, no. Y'all, y'all ain't take some steps. Right. It's, it is a step. They go make it to the playoffs, step. then lose. Then they go make it to the next round, then lose. No. <laughs> like, it's going right. to be a minute. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> be all right we'll see y'all in the finals. I hope so. Shit. That'll be lit. It's fuck. It'll that might be, be the, that might be the end of Tech Foul. It'll be it'll, some fighting yeah. on this show. <laughs> All oh, you the tables hear? and furniture. You gonna hear that every, every week? Every Actually, week. You ain't even gonna hear that because Deuce gonna kick us out. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all oh, yeah, can't yeah. record here no it's more. It's like right? your time out here. It's just gonna be Tim and Deuce. <laughs> No, it'd be Ken and Duke. That's what I meant. We've been at Laker. Let's head to the Laker podcast. <laughs> Fuck the Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Well, that's the uh, the MV- I said MVP, the NBA preview show. We hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm excited for the NBA season to start. Indeed. I cannot wait. I'm a little sad that Zion's not going to be playing on open tonight, but his long term health is is most important. Absolutely. So, yeah, uh, make sure that you are subscribed to Technical File and all that good stuff. Make sure that you are liking and reviewing and that you're sharing and all that stuff. We didn't do that earlier, so. Mm-hmm. Don't be listeners, be fam. Yeah, be fam. We'll talk more to y'all on uh, on Wednesday. So all y'all got to do is stay black and die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, um, if you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On Twitter and Snapchat at Camille Monet, C-A-M-I-L-L-E-M-O-N-A-E because... Your mom is fancy. Thank you, sir. Double, uh, no, not that anymore. Uh, at Bucksburner on Twitter. That's all you get. Goddamn right. Everyday underscore gentleman <laughs> on... Um, <laughs> On Instagram, K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy T I M K I N Z the number three, aka Ass Catch'em, aka Mister Give It To Me. Since we didn't do it early, I do it right now. You can find us on www.technicalfile.com. Don't forget to put the K on that motherfucker. You can also find us on Instagram and the Twitter at Technical File on Facebook. Technical File Podcast is our Facebook page. Technical File Pod Overtime is our group. Please join in with the listeners, fans, and fans. Thank you, Dilly Dilly. See y'all on Wednesday.